C row B of Josh Henry. The X3, Dan Wallace, and in row four, Robert Audrey into 127. As they go green, it's a battle for the lead down the back straightaway. Into turns three and four. One on the top side, one on the bottom side, but the one machine will be scored as your leader. Rusty Shank makes no doubt about it, showing off the horsepower, but look at that 28 car of Earth. Herb all over the back bumper, but look out, because here comes the eighth machine of Jaden Frank. Caution on the speedway. Wow. As the double zero car, Josh Henry goes around. The Henry trucking machine. What a race we've got planned tonight, folks. I cannot believe it. Hey, good afternoon to all the folks tuned in on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We appreciate you tuning in for the 18th annual Toilet Bowl Classic. As a fire coming out of turn four, down the front straightaway, Rusty Shink trying to hold off Earp. Dennis Earp not giving an inch. Folks, if you are not here, you do not know what you're missing. Super late models at its finest. Coming to you right here at Clarksville Speedway. Five laps to go. And Rusty Shank not given an inch in that one machine. Starting to stretch out a little bit of a lead. And don't forget, check us out on Twitter. Hashtag Toilet Bowl 2022. And we'll try to conversate with you a little bit. As I'm watching one of the best races I have seen in a long time here at the Speedway. show as Rusty Shank checking out. Checker flag is in the air. Rusty Shank picks up the big win tonight. Man, what a show. Hats off to the crew here at Clarksville Speedway for putting this thing together. Man. 604 cars, you need to be in the lanes. UMP modifies your own standby. As we'll get set for heat two. On the inside, row one, Corey Hedgecock. On the outside, Josh Putman in the 212. On the inside of row two, Dylan Tidmore. On the outside, Mike Boers in the 94 machine. On the inside of row three, Gavin Schmidt in the 19. On the outside, Jeff Sloan. Matt Cooper in row four. As they fire down the front straightaway. Into one and two. That's, that's Schmidt. Trying to make a big bold move, but the 212 car is going to be scored as the leader of lap number one. Putman come down here to Clarksville, Tennessee, looking for business. Showing off. What a show tonight. Putman, still your leader.
Putman, still your leader. Corey Hitchcock, still in second place. Dylan Tidmore in third. And if you're watching us online, we want to welcome you into the Clarksville Speedway for our Facebook Live look. And we want you to drop a comment down below. Let your friends know you're watching some great racing here from beautiful Tennessee. Hit that share button. Let your friends uh, know that you're watching and drop us a comment as well. Let you know where you're tuned in from, who you're cheering for. And uh, we'll be a little interactive throughout this. And Charlie, as you've mentioned, we've got drivers from all across the country here getting ready to do some dirt racing. Well, that's right, I'll tell you what. There are more cars here tonight than I have ever seen here in probably 25 plus years. I'll tell you what, William Scoggins has really put together a great program down here tonight. As we get to set, go racing with heat race number three of the super late models. David Sieber starts inside row one, Richard Frost on the outside. They fire out of four. Check out Tanner English trying to make a move early on in the 81 car. He'll take second spot. And now he's got his sights set on Siebert. I don't know if he can run it. He does. He's down on the bottom side of the racetrack. Siebert's up top working the cushion. English on the bottom. This is a battle that goes on and on and on. Every super late model race we have, big one. English comes down and tries to dethrone these local guys. I just don't think he can do it tonight in the heat race. Sievers stretching out a lead on him now. Wow. Vandermark in third place. In the 41 machine, keep your eyes on that 41 machine. Halfway through the race, it's Sievers. About a four car length lead over Tanner English. Not something that happens very often here. As Tobaldi falls back in the seventh spot. Not quite sure what happened to Brandon's car. Had a pretty good car in hot laps. Larry Barber Jr. in fifth place. He has Richard Frost in fourth. Sievers showing these guys he still knows his way around the speedway with two to go. Six oh four cars, you need to be buckled up. Six oh four late models, you need to be buckled up. Six oh four lates, you need to be buckled up. UMP modified, you need to be in the lanes. UMP modified, you need to be in the lanes. Quicksilver Street Stock, you're on standby. Quicksilver Street Stock, you're on standby. UMP modified, need to be in the lanes, please. Your winner, Sievers. Tell you what, David Sievers kind of just checked out on that deal, man. He took he took the lead early on and held him off for the eight lap heat race win. David Sievers out of Lewisburg, Tennessee. Charlie, we mentioned we have drivers from all across. We have fans watching us from South Korea tonight. Want to say hello to Derek, who's watching us from South Korea. Charles Hunt is with us. Uh, Brandon Morton is watching on the Clarksville Speedway Facebook page. Uh, Michael Dawkins is watching from Nebraska. Uh, we got some folks that are going to be here tomorrow. They're taking in some of the racing action here tonight on Facebook and, of course, on pitrow.tv. We're going to show you the next race, which is currently staging on the back straightaway, but then we're going to pull the plug. So you want to head over to pitrow.tv to see all the racing action tonight, as well as tomorrow. Hit that share button. Let your friends know you're watching some racing. Drop us a comment. We're interactive here this evening. But, Charlie, look at all those late models on the back straightaway. This one's going to be a doozy. That's right. This 604 crate late models is going to be a barn burner. But I'm going to tell you something. We got a local kid starting on the pole up front, knows his way to victory lane very well. The number two machine of Hunter Blackwell will start inside row one. 
On the outside, row number one, the 36 machine of Evan Taylor. In row number two, another guy who's been to victory lane a ton here at Clarksville Speedway, the 1A machine of Levi Ashby. On the outside, the C6 machine of Oakley Johns. On the inside, row number three, the 10C car of Ronnie Cooper. On the outside, the 01 machine, Jason Welshen. On the inside, row number four, the seven machine, Andy Nesworski. And I believe he's the long haul award winner. The 44X on the outside, Austin Anderson. Row number five on the inside, the six machine, Jimmy Halford. On the outside, the 18X car of Michael Sieber. Row number six on the inside, the 27 machine of Bailey Proctor. On the outside, the four of Joe Mike. Row number seven, the 81 machine of Jack Riggs. On the outside, the 20, Glenn Halschel. At row number eight, the 14 cars for the 604 crate cars. As we get set to go green, as the field gets back together, two by two, bumper to bumper, wheel to wheel, door handle to door handle for the 2022 Toilet Bowl Classic here at Clarksville Speedway. You gotta love it, fans. As the drivers come around, show them what they mean to you. Make some noise for them as they come out of turn four. Your 604 crate late models. Twenty laps for the 604 cars. 604 being the GM part number on the sealed crate engine these cars run. Very closely watched spec class. As they fire out of turn four. And check out Hunter Blackwell as he takes the early lead. But man, he's got a mirror full of traffic. These guys ain't giving up that easy. Down the front straightaway, they're two and three wide. Into turns one and two. I've got the best seat in the house. Caution on the speedway. As the 81 car spun all by himself, he'll be charged with the penalty. Jack Riggs. Jack Riggs out of, out of Nolensville, Tennessee. Joe Mike out of Mayfield, Kentucky in the four car gets it turned around, trying to stay out of rigs. Don't forget about Andy Nesworski, blue glass Iowa driver in the number seven machine. I do think that's the long haul award. I'll tell you what, you got to love these racers. Come down and put on a show for you fans. I tell you what, it's great to see a full field of cars here tonight. We'll get the field lined back up with 19 on the board. One lap complete of the 20 lap feature race. And hang on to your hats, folks, because the super late models will be back later for their feature race. Blackwell, Ashby. I want to welcome everybody that's watching on our live looking, including uh, Herman. Kenny Wallace is watching. I want to say hello to Kenny. Won a race back at my old stopping grounds at Riverside International Speedway a couple of years ago. So I want to say hello to Kenny and everybody that's watching in here. Carlos Van is uh, watching David Siebers, cheering him on. Uh, Crystal Lurry from Adams, Tennessee. Come on out to the racetrack if you're close. Uh, we've still got a full day of racing tomorrow, racing for the toilets. Drop us a comment down below. Let us know where you are tuned in from, and we'll hand it back to Charlie for some more racing. As we get set to go green, they fire out of turn four. 
It's a clean start down the front straightaway, down into turn one. I'll tell you what, Ashby is not going down without a fight. That young man is all over the back end of Hunter Blackwell. I don't know what it looks like if you're tuned in watching on TV, but live, words can't describe the action here tonight. What a show, I'm telling you, 15, 604 cars. Thundering around this quarter mile, high bank red clay oval. What a show, two and three wide down the front straightaway. Now down the back straightaway. As Blackwell, Ashby, and Halford. Jimmy Halford makes his way up to third. He's gonna get in the battle now. Evan Taylor in the 36 machine. Trying to get him a piece of the action. But the front three cars seem to be pulling away from the pack. That 10 car of Ronnie Cooper rounds out the top five. Blackwell seems to be getting a little momentum built up. Putting a little gap between him and Ashby. Now the race becomes for second place. As the six car, Jimmy Halford trying to take second place from Ashby. As the 10 car using the top side of the racetrack. These guys are trying every trick in the book to make up some ground tonight. As the 36 and 10 get together, you got a caution on the speedway. And don't forget, you can tune in to us, pitrow.tv, right here at Clarksville Speedway. As the 81 car not having a good night. As we get set to go back green, Blackwell, Ashby, Johns in the C6 car moves up. Oakley Johns in the third spot. Evan Taylor in fourth and Ronnie Cooper in fifth. Down the front straightaway, Hunter Blackwell opens the door. Ashby tried to take advantage of it. Couldn't pull the move off. Wow. I bet Blackwell was cringing in the seat, man. He opened the door. And Ashby tucks up under him, tries to get around him, but just couldn't pull it off. Yes, we got caution on the speedway. Quite sure what happened there, but we'll get it figured out. As Michael Thomas in the uh, push truck doing a fine job tonight. Appreciate you. Once again, if you're watching us on our live look in on Facebook, want to say hello to everybody. Uh, Kenny wants to know how many of the A mods are here tonight and there are 28, and we're going to see some heat racing following this feature. I've twisted the arm of our producer to show one on the look-in. So uh, make sure you thank our producer. So head over to uh, pitrow.tv. See everything here this evening. We have everywhere represented from Canada, South Korea, everywhere in between. Uh, we got Texas. We've got Missouri. We've got Tennessee. We've got everybody here. But you want to head over to Pit Row TV to see all the racing action. Charlie, this has been exciting so far. Well, 
I'll tell you what, you bought the whole seat tonight at Clarksville Speedway, but the fans are only using the edge of it. Man, I can't remember when I've seen a race this exciting here. It's been 25 plus years. I've never seen the turnout of cars, roughly 200 cars on the property tonight. And like you said earlier, 28 open wheels. What a show that's going to be. UMP modified, you need to be in the lanes. Modified, you need to be in the lanes. Street stocks, you're on standby. Street stocks, you are on standby. Hey, Charlie? Yes, sir. I got a question for you. I'm an asphalt guy from Canada, so somebody on the look-in has asked, can someone explain how the signaling sticks work? They've never seen those before. Can you help us out? Sure thing. Well, as the crew members stand up there and they use the sticks to tell their driver how far or how close the guy behind him is because, as you well know, dirt cars do not have mirrors. As you see, that driver's telling Hunter Black, that crew member's telling his driver, Hunter Blackwell, he's right on your rear end. So now you'll notice Hunter Blackwell starts to stand in the car, really get after the car. As he'll get a little further out, his guy will spread the sticks apart a little bit and explain to him that, you know, you've got a little ground. Now, watch this guy. If you see this guy tapping these sticks together, he's telling Hunter Blackwell, stand on it. See him, see him shaking the sticks? Stand on it, stand on it. As a six car. Oakley Johns in the C6 challenging Hunter Blackwell on his own home turf. I'm telling you, it's not often Blackwell gets a challenge like that from a visitor. And if you'll notice at the bottom of your screen, he's telling Hunter Blackwell he's right on you. He's right on you. And, and different drivers and crew members have different signals. They're not all the same. Uh, if, if it's like six inches apart, that may be two car lengths. Look at Oakley. John's on the outside of Hunter Blackwell. He'll be scored as your leader. Not often you see a move like that laid down on this racetrack. And now he is checking out. Bold move on the outside to take the lead. Ashby now looks to the inside of Blackwell, trying to find a little bit of traction for the 1A machine. As they put the 44 car a lap down. What a job of driving this young man is doing, Oakley Johns. He's out of Hohenwald, Tennessee. Checkered flag is out. Oakley Johns is your winner. Out of Hohenwald, Tennessee. Wow. What a job of driving. Hunter Blackwell in second. Levi Ashby in third. Evan Taylor fourth. And Ronnie Cooper round out your top five. Rolling on the speedway now. It's going to be our open wheels. UMP modified coming to you. And as Charlie said, modified heat's coming up. Still plenty of racing to come here. And I twisted the producer's arm. We're going to show you one. And that's it. One of these modified heats on Facebook. Then for the rest of the racing action, you're going to want to head over to pitrow.tv uh, to see everything going on here this evening. Night number one, they race for the plungers tonight, tomorrow. They're going to race for the toilets. Uh, Pit Row TV, place to be for everything to be here. And hit that share button on Facebook. Let your friends know you're watching some racing. Charlie, here's the Modifieds. 
Coming up now on the inside, row one, the hometown boy, many time track champion, Trent Young in the TY car. On the outside of 14, Rick Conyer. On the inside, row two, the four of Victor Lee. On the outside, the five of Owen Steincomb. On the inside, row three, the 82 car of Darren Weirman. On the outside of 27, Bo DeYoung. And in row four, the 69R of Arlen Ray. As they go green, it's a clean start. Trent Young trying to get a pass that car on the outside. But Conyer not going to let him just have it. As Young gets out of shape and Conyer takes the lead on lap one. Not quite sure. I tell you what, it is absolutely perfect race weather this weekend. Keep in mind, we'll be here again tomorrow night, racing for the toilets. Tonight is plunger night. Tomorrow night, all the marbles is up for grabs. Tell you what, wouldn't mind having a couple of those in my race shot myself. We get ready to go back racing. Conyer, your leader. Trent Young in second. Victor Lee in third. Going to be a barn burner. Down the front straight away, they fire. Young is trying every trick in the book to get that 10 Y car back up front. I just don't see him catching that 14 machine. But now he's being challenged by the four machine of Victor Lee. Unbelievable how these guys are making moves on the top side of the racetrack tonight. As Trent Young trying to hold off Victor Lee. Young in the bottom. Lee up top. Caution on the speedway. Five to go. And the caution comes out for Arlen Ray in the 69R car. As we get set to go green, this time out of four. They fire out of four. Conyers trying to protect the bottom from Trent Young. Trent Young having to keep Victor Lee behind him. Not able to make some runs at the leader for having to protect his position. Victor Lee figured out the top wasn't going to get it done, so now he's down in the bottom side of the racetrack. As Young seems to be pulling the 14 machine of Conyers back in, but we only got four laps to go. Keep in mind, this is a heat race. 28 of these bad boys will be starting to feature race tonight. Speaking of the weather, you know, it's great air out here tonight. These race cars love this little bit of cool air. These things are laying down some lap times. Two to go. Rick Conyer, still your leader. Trent Young in second. White flags in the air. And they'll race back to the checkers. Down the back straightaway. Conyer got a good lead. But here comes Trent Young. He's going to try the bottom side one more time and try to see if he can get it done. He can't pull it off. Rick Conyer, your winner of tonight's first heat race for the UMP Modifieds. Well, that's going to do it for our Facebook Live look. And want to thank everybody for watching here this evening. And we're not done. We're far from over here tonight. 
at Clarksville Speedway. Head over to pitrow.tv to see all the racing action. Still three more modified heats to come, a slew of features. We're racing for plungers here this evening, so head over and check us out on Pit Road TV. For those watching on Facebook, we want to thank you for peering behind the curtain here at Clarksville. we got some more mod heats coming, Charlie. Well, I tell you what, you 